Hi! So, it was suggested I start these videos by showing you my face um, because I know I miss all of your lovely faces, so, so maybe you miss mine. I don't know. But, to get to our project, um, we're pretty much taking what we did last week with our three-dimensional linear perspective drawings and we are using it to draw a three-dimensional city. Now, this is a lot. You do not have to do all of this, all right? The only thing you will be required to do for this project is um, at least draw three cities, or three cities, three buildings on one side, all right, right here. And then on the other side, you can add trees or whatever you want. I'll go more into that during the video. And then you can choose how much detail you add. And you can see, I didn't even color mine. I didn't have time for that. So if you don't have time for that, obviously you don't have to do it either. If you wanna color it, I love seeing your colored um, art, obviously. So your choice, all right? Don't be stressed about, out about art class, all right? Um, if you have questions or concerns about this project, again, of course, you can always shoot me a message over Edsby. Um, but let's get started. For this project, you are going to need, once again, a pencil and eraser, and then something to help you draw a straight line. Obviously a ruler is best. However, you can use the edge of a book or whatever you have on hand. If you're confident in your straight line drawing abilities, then I guess technically you don't need anything. But for me, it definitely helps. So like I said, for this project, we're going to be drawing a three dimensional city and it's going to be kind of along the lines of this. Once again, we're going to need that horizon line and that vanishing point and all of our lines will be, well, most of our lines will be moving towards that vanishing point. So let's get started. The first step is we need to draw that horizon line. So I'm taking my ruler, I'm putting it right there in the middle of my paper and I am drawing a straight horizontal line. This is our horizon line. For this project, it's also going to be where our ground meets our sky. And then I also need to draw my vanishing point, which goes right here. The vanishing point, once again, is where we are directly looking. So for our cityscape that we're drawing, we are looking right down the middle of our city, okay? We were standing right in the middle of our art. And now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a road going down the middle of our city. So I'm going to take my pencil and my ruler. I'm going to put my pencil on the vanishing point. I'm going to put my ruler against my pencil and I'm going to angle it. And then I'm going to draw that straight diagonal line going from my vanishing point all the way to the bottom of my paper. And I'm going to do the same thing going the opposite direction. So again, pencil on the vanishing point, ruler against the pencil. And I want it to be at the, about the same angle as this um, line I just did. All right, I'm kind of just eyeballing it. And there we go, it's not too bad. What I'm going to do now is I wanna draw the dashes going down my road. Keep in mind, as things move towards the vanishing point, they are getting farther away, and when things get farther away, they get smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler and draw just a nice light, straight line to help me be a guide to make sure I am, for the most part, going straight up and down. And I'm just going to sketch this in real fast. And if we wanted to be really accurate, these lines would also be mo moving towards the vanishing point, but you know, we're just trying to get something done pretty quick since we are doing the online classes. The next step I'm going to move towards is starting drawing my buildings. And my buildings, I'm gonna start on this side, they're just going to be lined up along the road. My first building, I want it to be pretty big because it's going to be the one closest to me. And I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to just draw a nice, big rectangle. And as you see, I erased the parts of my horizon line that were going through my building because um, I don't want to see through building. If you want to see through building, that's up to you, I suppose. 
Now I need to connect the corners of my shape to my vanishing point, just like I did last week. So I take my ruler, I put my pencil on my point, I put my ruler against my pencil, and then I tilt it until it's touching the vanishing point, and I connect. I'm not going to do this one or this one because I would have to draw through my rectangle and I do not want to do that. And then the road line is actually acting like a vanishing line that connects this point to my vanishing point, so I don't need to worry about that. Now what I need to do is just like last week, I need to cut off my form, my building from the vanishing point. And to do that, I need to connect these two vanishing lines by drawing a parallel line to this edge of my rectangle. And so I just pick a point depending on how wide I want the building. I'm just going to do it right here. And I'm going to put my ruler against my pencil, making sure that it's as vertical as possible. So it's parallel to my edge and I connect. Ta-da! And then I take my eraser. I'm not erasing this line because this is the line for my road. So basically we have now finished drawing the first form of our building. This is the side of our building that faces us and this is the side that is facing the road. And we're going to continue drawing more forms of buildings as we move down the road until we pretty much hit the edge of our vanishing point. So next step is I'm going to take my pencil again and I'm going to draw another rectangle. Now with this rectangle, um, I, it's going to be, it's going to be a little weird. Just bear with me. Okay. I'm going to start right here on the edge of my, um, first building and I'm going to draw that straight line. Okay. And then I'm going to draw a vertical line. And then, this is where it might get a little weird, I'm going to draw the bottom of my rectangle like this. Okay? So this is like a space in between the buildings. All right? So it's like a gap, like it could be an alleyway, it could be, you could turn it into a parking lot later, whatever you want. And now just like I did for this one, I'm going to connect the corner to my vanishing point. And then I have to cut it off by drawing a parallel that connects these two lines. And then I do it again, making sure my rectangle starts about right here and then connecting. So there are our buildings on our left side of our road. Um, later on, I'm going to show you some things you can do for those buildings, but we're going to go ahead and draw some buildings now on this side of our road. Now, if you would like to, this is a choice. Last year when I did this, um, some students were like, this was hard enough, I, I don't wanna do anymore, please don't make me do anymore. That is fine. Um, and they chose to instead fill this side with trees because it was a little bit easier. Um, they just drew trees. They didn't do any of the linear perspective uh, like we do for our uh, geometric shapes. If you do that, that is fine. Just keep in mind as you're getting closer to your vanishing point, your trees should be getting farther and farther away. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to draw some more um, buildings along this side. And once again, I need to connect my shape's corners to my vanishing point, just like I did on this side. And then I need to cut it off with a parallel line to this line. Okay, so. If you're pretty much good to go and you're like, I'm done, I know what I'm doing from here, you can stop watching and um, add details on your own, but I'm going to show you how to add windows and maybe if you would like to add a roof or um, how you can add some more buildings along this side, all right? So if you wanna add some more buildings behind these buildings, 
all right, you really wanna fill your page, then what you can do is you can draw a building and then I need to connect it to my vanishing point. And then I need to draw a parallel line. So you can do that all throughout here. Maybe I want to add another building right here. So with something like this, you can see it as a building behind this building. You could also see it as you stacking um, sections of a building, one on top of the other, almost like when you're building these building blocks. Um, if you would like to add something like a roof now, here is how you can do it. If you want to do like a 3D triangle roof, I'm going to keep it super duper simple. We pretty much want to build a pyramid on top. So I am just going to go ahead and do it with, um, I'm trying to figure out which one I could do it with. I guess with this one. So I'm just going to draw a diagonal line from here to here. All right. And then I'm going to draw a diagonal line from this corner connecting to this corner. I'll show you how to do it on this one too in case you're a little confused. So once again, I am going to draw a triangle with um, this being the bottom edge of my triangle. And if you're confused, let me just show you what I mean. So I draw a triangle like that. Pretty easy. Almost like when you're learning how to draw and you're drawing a house. Now I'm going to do the same thing right here. Connecting these sides. So you're just drawing two triangles, pretty much one right next to the other, where your the top of your uh, cube or rectangular prism that we've drawn is the bottom of those two triangles. All right, now let's talk about windows. If you're adding windows to the side of your building that faces you, then you just draw whatever shape you want. Like I'm just going to do the simple squares. For windows that are on this side, it gets a little bit trickier, all right? They follow the same rules as our building where these lines, our horizontal lines for our windows, move towards the vanishing point. All right, you just saw a weird cutscene. That's because as I was explaining it, I realized the way I was explaining this window was not the best, so I am redoing it. So the first step you wanna do is you need to draw the vertical, so up and down side of your window, just one of them, the one that is closest to the edge of your building. So right here, I'm just drawing a vertical line, all right? That's the edge of my window. The next step is we're almost treating this like a shape, all right? Even though it's a line, we're treating it like a shape. We wanna connect the corners of our line to our vanishing point lightly because a lot of this line will get erased. So I put my pencil on the point, I take my ruler and I put it to the vanishing point and then I draw that line. And I do the same thing for this bottom part. Oop. All right. Ta-da. Now, just like we've been doing with this side of our forms, we need to cut it off from the vanishing point by drawing a parallel line to this line that connects these two vanishing lines. And then I can do that going all the way down my building. So I want a window here, I want a window here, and I want a window here. And each of these points needs to get connected to our vanishing point. If I want, I can add, you know, little details to my windows too. Keep in mind, if I'm doing a horizontal line, a line that would normally be horizontal, it needs to move towards my vanishing point when it's on this side of the building that faces the road. So 
that is a tip and trick on how to add windows or doors or anything along those lines to your buildings. Again, this is a choice if you're like, I am done, this was hard enough, that is fine with me because I am not there to help you. Um, feel free to add whatever details you want to your building. I Last year, I'm pretty sure I had Captain Underpants flying around in some cities. Um, I've had a whole superhero battle going on in a city. Uh, fourth grade just did a project. A lot of them added Godzilla to their cities. I'm going to go ahead and finish mine and add as many details as I can think of. Mine's going to be pretty standard though, because I've got to do my fourth grade video and as well <laughs> after this. And there you have it. So I ended up not tracing with Sharpie just because uh, my pencil lines look like they show up pretty good on the camera. Um, and I have included a ton of detail. You do not have to include this amount of detail, okay? I know you guys have a lot of work going on right now and still figuring out Edsby. So it is really up to you how far you want to take this. If you only do three buildings, that is okay, all right? I had a little bit of extra time, so I went ahead and just added windows to all my buildings in a little park, and I hit a little kitty cat. So it's your choice, all right? I do not want you stressed out about art class. It is what you have time for, what you feel comfortable with, and um, how much you want to challenge yourself. Anyway, I cannot wait to see what you guys submit for your city. Um, until next week.